Hi guys, I've made a joystick based around a uh, 1920s-1930s biplane design. Uh, it's not based on any specific aircraft type, but just uh, loosely around designs of that period. The main column is made from one and a quarter inch steel tube with a solid steel ring welded to the top, uh, wrapped in cotton tape and with a single brass push button. All the main parts were made from steel, which was cut and then either bolted or welded together. So here you can see the main base plate and bearings with a two-way pivot, which was just two uh, 10 mm steel bars welded together at right angles, and the plate which acts as the base for the control column with some square tube welded to it. Here you can see the top of the main column before painting and finishing. This mounts with just a couple of bolts, uh, as I wanted it easy to swap out so I could uh, change designs and maybe put a few different uh, style sticks on the top at some point. Maybe try a design more like a Spitfire or other World War II aircraft, uh, that would be good to try as well. And here you can see the finished thing works quite smoothly in both the pitch and the roll axes. And I've attached a heavy weight to the base to keep it from moving around or toppling over when it's being used. For the electronics, I've used a Leo Bodner BU0836A control unit connected to a couple of Hall effect sensors that slide around a circular magnet, one for each axis. And with the excellent Leo Bodner unit, it plugs straight into your computer via USB and it's really easy to calibrate your unit in the uh, settings of your flight sim, in my case using X-Plane 11. There are lots of options with the Bodner unit to add a multitude of controls, but for now I've just used the one push button switch to control the brakes, since I've no guns on this uh, Stinson L5 Sentinel. Anyway, this is just my prototype, so plenty of room for improvements and add-ons, and now I just need to make myself a throttle and rudder pedals to match. Oh, no jokes please about my graphics card. Currently running this demo on a seven-year-old MacBook Air. Have fun.